And more big news at four. One of the men involved in the death of Young Dolph pleads guilty to accessory after the fact. Prosecutors say Jamarcus Johnson helped his half-brother, who's accused of actually killing the rapper, hide from authorities after the shooting. WREG's Kwametra Wilburn was in the courtroom and that plea deal was made. Prosecutor say Jamarcus Johnson had no role in the murder of Adolph Thornton Jr., also known as Young Dolph. They say he didn't come into the picture until about a week or so after the shooting. Jamarcus Johnson had no involvement in the homicide before the murder. He had no involvement in the homicide during the murder. Friday morning, Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of accessory after the fact for his involvement in the death of young Dolph. Dolph was gunned down inside Makita's Cookies in South Memphis on November 17th, 2021. Prosecutors say Cornelius Smith and Justin Johnson were the gunmen. Prosecuting attorney Paul Hackerman says Jamarcus was pulled in after the shooting by Justin his half-brother. About a week or so afterwards, he took acts that helped his brother evade law enforcement. Hagerman says Justin gave Jamarcus a car and cell phone, the same cell phone that Justin allegedly had with him before and during the murder. His brother, Justin, would call the telephone and he'd place the telephone up to another telephone and they would, in essence, trick Justin Johnson's federal probation officer into believing that Justin Johnson still had his cell phone and was still in Memphis, Tennessee. Hagerman says Jamarcus also used the phone to facilitate phone conversations between Justin and Cornelius Smith after the shooting regarding money. And that somebody else was referred to as Unc, is that correct? Yes, sir. Jamarcus's attorney says at the time, his client did not know of his brother's alleged involvement in the death of young Dolph. He says many of the conversations were held in code. There had not been any charges at that point in time. There wasn't a warrant out for his brother. Um, I, don't, I don't think he believed that his brother would be involved in something like that. He says his client has been cooperative from the beginning. Prosecutors say Jamarcus handed over the cell phone and identified a picture of his brother wearing the same clothes as one of the shooters. He also agreed to testify against his brother if called. Ackerman says Dolph's family is confident justice will be served. They're encouraged by the progress in litigation and ultimately one day they want to see a trial on this thing and they know this is a step toward that. Jamarcus faces 6 to 12 years in prison. Reporting from 201, Kwame Trewilborn, WREG, News Channel 3. So here's what's next for Johnson. He's due back in court on August 10th. His attorney says his sentencing will more than likely be delayed until the entire case involving all of the defendants comes to a conclusion. As part of his agreement for cooperating, Johnson's bond was reduced to $25,000.